For those who graduated from college in spring of 2018, the grace period is over. It's time now to begin paying on those student loans. Lily Pesavento met with Indiana State University's financial aid this afternoon. Lily's with me right now. Is there anything to fear regarding student loans other than the fact you've got to pay it back? Oh gosh, Tom, student loans have become an entity all inside right. of themselves. They mm -hmm. can strike fear in students before and especially after graduation. Right. The total amount may seem scarier and impossible to pay off, but plans do exist to make payments less painful. After speaking with ISU's financial aid, I've got a few tips for those embarking on this new stage of adulthood. For students approaching graduation, two big worries stand out the most. Will I have a job after the ceremony? And will I be able to afford my student loans? I didn't have a job lined up. Um, and I knew you got a little grace period of a couple months, um, but I didn't know how long that was. Graduate student Michael Winstead was fortunate enough to find a job a month after graduation, but those student loans hit at a rather inconvenient time. My first loan payment hit around the holidays, so with the holidays coming, you know, they're always a little more expensive anyway. As of right now, Winstead's student loans are on hold as he pursues his master's degree. Now, if a student is pursuing education after their bachelor's degree, they can actually postpone paying their student loans. They can defer them through their uh, master's degree or their PhD program. Payments may be postponed, but interest will still accrue over the years. And for students who are only paying off undergrad, there are a few options. Some of the repayment plans are time-based and some of them are income-based. So students actually have some flexibility, um, some fairly flexible options in repayment. Time-based plans can take anywhere from 10 to 12 years to pay off, while income-based is formulated more uniquely to a student's ability to pay. So it really depends on the plan and what the student works out with their lender, as well as the amount that they borrowed. Student loans may seem spooky in the beginning, but experts say higher education is worth it in the end. Students still receive on average a million dollars more with a college degree than without one. So even when we're talking student loans and we're talking about loan repayment, it's an investment in your future just like anything else. The first step in figuring out what plan fits you best is logging on to studentloans.gov. For what is called exit counseling, this online tutorial breaks down payment options and interest rates for students. What happens, Lily, if, if a student cannot make their monthly payment, which is what they all fear? Well, so the best thing that you can do is really come up with a plan for your lender, mm -hmm. and then you can either defer or there's a thing called forbearance where you can skip a couple months um, okay. just yeah and still be okay just as long as you talk with your lender. I was going to say communication. Oh, it's key. Like it's it's key. absolutely key. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lily.